Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode in our Starter Pack series. These are the 10 genre albums a newbie needs to own. If it's like the first time coming into that style of music, right? So these aren't necessarily always going to be my personal favorites. They might not necessarily be the greatest or most classic album in the catalog of each of these artists. But these are a safe place for someone to get a feel for what this style of music is all about. The first album you hear from this band or artist to kind of get you ready to explore more. Now this particular genre we're going to talk about here today, this is, this is really a genre that was created kind of like by radio, right? FM rock radio. It's not necessarily a style of music because a lot of these bands and artists, they have their own styles, right? But there is this thing that was created, oh, I don't know, 30, 40 years ago called classic rock. And these are just Classic bands, artists, and albums that have have a that have had a history on FM rock radio and have uh, proven to be popular over time. Many of these albums are huge sellers, lots of radio singles and classics that have for, that are forever going to be known by rock audiences who grew up on stuff like this from the '60s, '70s, maybe even into the early '80s. Right, so. A daunting task to choose 10, so I cheated a little bit. I've got a few extra here, uh, and I could have added to this in a big way because there's so many albums, I think, that for someone who maybe just wants to discover like rock music, great rock music from the last 50-plus years, what are some of the albums that I should go get and listen to to get me into this thing called classic rock. I think all of these qualify. And there's many others. So guys, there's no right or wrong answer here. These are just my hand-picked albums that I think are a good place for someone, whether you're older and just never listen to rock music, or whether you're someone who's really young and you just want to listen to, uh, get a taste for the rock music that your parents grew up with. These are the picks, right? So these are my picks. You don't have to agree with them. Uh, if you think you have better ones, put them down in the comments below. That's what it's all about. But I think for someone brand new to this thing called classic rock, bands from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, this is a great starter pack, folks. So let's start. Let's go back. I like to do these somewhat in chron chronological order. Got to go back. So there's one band that you absolutely have to have in this list. The trick is what album do you pick because there's quite a few of them that qualify. I went with the one. There's one that I was my favorite and I really wanted to pick here. But I think for someone brand new to the Beatles, maybe Abbey Road, just a, maybe you need something else first. I pick Sgt. Pepper. I think Abbey Road's a better album. But man, as, as a way to get into the Beatles, because the reason why I like this album as for someone first time to the band, it's got that, that kind of like whimsical heartwarming pop sensibility of the early albums with this newfangled acceptance and love of psychedelic music. It's got a little of both here. You know, Abbey Road is, is perfection, right? But it's a different beast than this. I think with here, you know, you get the title track, obviously with a little help from my friends, is, is a great song. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds is on here, Getting Better, I mean, Lovely Rita, all, all sorts of great songs on here. Good morning, good morning. This is just a fun, psychedelic, but very, very inviting album from the Beatles. And I think as a first time listener to the Beatles, this kind of gives you everything that they were all about. They might have better albums, but that's not what we're really. That's not what this series is all about. It's all about an introduction to a certain style of music. So, gotta have Sgt. Pepper, Lonely Hearts Club Band, and this is uh, this is kind of a late entrance to my list. Uh, I, after I had my list all set to go, and then I was like, God, how could I forget the Doors? You can't forget the Doors in a list like this. I mean, Jim Morrison and company have so many great songs. Every one of their albums, to me, is a classic. But to me, you gotta, gotta start from the beginning. Gotta go to the first album. Because start to finish, it's just amazing. It starts with Break On Through, it ends with the end. And in between, you have Alabama Song, you got Light My Fire, you got Backdoor Man, Soul Kitchen, The Crystal Ship, 
I looked at you, end of the night. I mean, everything on there. There, take it as it comes. 20th Century Fox. I mean, it's all on here. It's all so accessible. It's all so the doors, whatever you want to call it. Psychedelic rock, pop. It's There's nobody that's ever sounded like the doors. So unique. The great poetic ramblings of Jim Morrison and very unique vocal style. The great organ. The looping guitars. Uh, yeah, just classic. Thing. You have to have the doors in your collection if you're going to investigate classic rock. I would start from there, work your way up. You Honestly, you could start with any of their albums, but for me, they don't have a lot of albums. Start from the beginning and get them all. That's just what you got to do. All right, you can't talk about this style of music and not talk about one of the greats of all time. And that's the Rolling Stones. To me, if you're going to start with one Rolling Stones album, you got to start with Sticky Fingers. Got to do it. Uh, my favorite Stones album. They have lots of great albums. But to me, this is everything that the Stones do so well. It's gritty. It's bluesy. It's rootsy. It's grimy. It's catchy. Hooks everywhere. Slashing guitars. Right? Brown Sugar, Sway, Wild Horses, Can't You Hear Me Knocking. Uh, you gotta move, bitch. I got the blues, sister morphine, the great country rock of dead flowers, and of course, Moonlight Mile. Doesn't get much better. Doesn't get much better. Classic, classic album. You gotta have it. Along the same lines, we're, we're doing most of the big British ones here. Um, you gotta have Who's Next? Tommy and Quadrophenia are great, amazing concept albums i don't know if i would give either to someone as a first step into the world of the who but i absolutely would this because this is just a collection of great songs bob o'reilly bargain won't get fooled again closes it all up behind blue eyes my wife love ain't for keeping going mobile getting in tune i mean it's the song is over it's all great Pete Townsend and company at the height of their powers, masterfully produced, great composition. So many songs on this album have been classics for decades for a reason. And while you're at it, go get the deluxe edition. It's got all sorts of great cool stuff on it uh, that you need to have. All right, let's get back to the U.S. here. Um, Born to Run by Bruce Springsteen. I mean, such a fun album rock it's got soul it's bluesy in spots it's just a guy from new jersey and his amazing band cranking out one classic after another thunder road opens it up it's just so epic 10th avenue freeze out is just so like new york city awesomeness night backstreets backstreets is great the title track is just an amazingly produced song that everybody needs to have in their collection. She's the one meeting across the river, and of course, the great closer, Jungle Land. The soaring sax, the great piano and keyboards, the great rhythms, slashing guitars, multi track vocal harmonies. Yeah, Bruce Springsteen's classic, Born to Run. Gotta have that one. Uh, gotta have Queen. Queen's gotta be in this conversation. And uh, I'm gonna go with A Night at the Opera. Simply because there are some staples on here that everybody new to rock music of this time period needs to own, needs to... And of course, those classics are Bohemian Rhapsody, for one, You're My Best Friend, another. Both enduring hits for the band, but there's a lot more on here. There's heavy rock on here, there's this kind of operatic pop, there's you know, everything the Queen does so well. Death on Two Legs... Lazing on a Sunday afternoon, that kind of little whimsical thing that they do. I'm in love with my car. Roger Taylor, right? You got the great Freddie Mercury on vocals. Roger Taylor, John Deacon, of course, Brian May. 39, Sweet Lady is a good hard rocker. Seaside Rendezvous, the great epic proggy, heavy prophet song. The gorgeous love of my life, good company. And of course, it ends really with the Bohemian Rhapsody, the big, wonderful, unique epic that it is. And then the closing instrumental, God Save the Queen. So, yeah. Could have news of the world, right? For the heavier stuff, there's the first two albums, right? But for me, this is the classic, classic Queen album that you need to have first. So that's why it's here. And then one of the biggest selling rock albums of all time. 
signaled uh, it's the second album from a new lineup of this band that had been around for a while British blues rock band Fleetwood Mac rumors chock full of great songs everybody needs to own Fleetwood Mac if you're going to investigate the world of rock music secondhand news dreams never going to come back again don't stop go your own way songbird silver springs the chain you make love and fun i don't want to know oh daddy gold dust woman i mean it's all amazing all of it all amazing make sure you get the uh cd reissue so you get all the bonus tracks everything all, all the stuff yeah it's just amazing you got first you got your know, three singers Lindsay and stevie right of course christine it's it's rock it's pop little bits of blues little bits of country rock little bits of everything it's just this mystical um, this combination of different styles coming together totally not like the early peter green era which is great too if you want to dive into more bluesy stuff we'll probably do some kind of more blues rock oriented episode later on but uh yeah this is just a killer album it's a behemoth seller for a reason gotta have it all right from right around the same time another ridiculously huge album a debut album from a band that took the world by storm boston self-titled there were a lot of people wanting to see this in the uh, the hard rock episode the hard rock albums for a newbie i could have put it in there because it's definitely a hard rock album but this perpetually has been a such a huge part of what is called classic rock um i wanted to put it in here because I think that uh, this is an album that speaks to just about anybody, not just people who are into hard rock. I know people who just kind of like just good, just catchy, melodic rock music, even though this rocks a lot. This is pretty hard rocking. But, man, so well produced. Almost every song on this album was has been a radio staple for the last, you know, almost 50 years. More Than a Feeling, Peace of Mind, Four Play in Long Time, Rock and Roll Band, Smokin', Hit your ride. Something about you. Let me take you home tonight. It's got something for everybody on here. Great guitars. Great riffs. Amazing vocals from Brad Delp. Just instantly catchy hook-laden vocal harmonies. Uh, and it just and it kicks ass. And that album cover. So good. Gotta have it. You also have to have Hotel California. You can check out any time you like, but you can never leave. No, you can't. The Eagles, ladies and gentlemen... Uh, yeah, I mean, the title track is, you know, and some of these songs I, we've all heard, for those of you who are watching, who know these albums very well and have had them forever, you probably think, oh, God, but some of them, they're all great, but they were so played out. But yes, for a newbie, they're not, right? For a newbie, they're not. People who just have ignored rock music for the last 50 years, maybe for whatever reason, or maybe they're a lot younger than we are, and they're just like, I, like I said earlier, they, they want to discover all this great music that their parents grew up on. Hotel California will be a revelation, right? New kid in town. This is, this is whatever you call the Eagles, right? California country rock, right? Sort of, I guess. Life in the fast lane. The big rocker Joe Walsh, right? Wasted time, so good. Victim of love, another good hard rocker. Pretty maids all in a row. Excellent. Try and try again. The last resort, which is amazing. Um, yeah, this there's so so much so much uh, history about this album and all that went on while they were recording it the meaning behind the lyrics and things like that you have to have hotel california by the eagles just have to all right now so there's obviously you know we've already hit in 10 right all right one two three four five six seven eight nine oh, one more and then i got some some goodies for you all right so the last spot could be occupied by any of these that I have sitting on the side here. I'm going to go just to give you a kind of a little different flavor here because we're trying to do lots of different things here. Uh, I'm going to go with the debut album from The Cars. 
amazing. So here you have, this is a little bit different, right? It's not country rock. It's not hard rock. It's not this kind of like a rootsy type thing. It's not the British stuff. This is an American band who were trying something a little bit different. There's this thing called kind of new wave hitting, right? This post-punk and new wave. Here you have all these bands that are uh, adding new sounds as we close out the 70s and get ready to move into the 80s. The Cars debut is filled with all sorts of great stuff. And this is one of those albums that, you know, growing up, I really didn't spend a lot of time with. But as I've gotten older, I've realized what a great record it is and just how many great songs are on here. I mean, this is like a greatest hits of the Cars unto itself, right? Of course, you got Good Times Roll, My Best Friend's Girl, Just What I Needed, all high energy rock songs but with a kind of like a a little extra something right a little extra something that's kind of new i'm in touch with your world don't you stop you're all that i got tonight haunting so great bye bye love moving in stereo how awesome is that song right and then all mixed up one of my personal favorites on the album just such a great great in inflection of pop and rock and and whatever else you want to call it new wave to me is just like so almost indescribable what it is but so much of it is at the time was so new and fresh you know you've been like the cars and you had uh blondie and so many other bands that were just kind of hitting big and with fresh new sounds but this kicks ass too it's catchy as all hell but it kicks ass and it's lots of fun gotta have the car self-titled other ones that are, i can't miss here all right Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars from David Bowie. Gotta have it, folks. You gotta have it. Why not Escape from Journey? Don't stop believing in all that other stuff, right? This is just good anthemic rock music. So catchy. How about the self-titled debut from Foreigner? Yeah, great songs there. How about Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Damn the Torpedo? The big breakthrough from Tom and the guys. Just so many excellent songs on here. You can't go wrong with that. Um, what else we got? First, Bad Company. Bad Company, Bad Company, self-titled. Elton John, Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Hell, I would say, you know, I, I'm trying not to uh, duplicate bands in these series here, in this series here, but you could easily throw Pink Floyd's The Wall on here. I had Dark Side of the Moon on the Prague episode, but you could throw Dark Side of the Moon here. Really, any of those Pink Floyd albums from the 70s would fit here as classic rock. It's psychedelic rock. It's Prague rock. Any of them would fit. Um, I, you could even throw Rush moving pictures in here. A lot of people really wanted to see Rush on the Prague episode. I put 2112 on the Prague Metal episode for lots of reasons. Go investigate that episode so you can hear why. But Moving Pictures could easily slot in here as well because a lot of those, you know, a few of those songs have been staples of classic rock radio for so many years. And I think if you want to kind of know um, all the different facets of what makes classic rock, there is some bands of the kind of prog persuasion or the hard rock persuasion that kind of fit into this as well. So, like I said, there's really no right or wrong answer. There's so many albums that we could talk about and throw in here. You know, Billy Joel's another one, right? So many. But... The, the trick is to kind of give everybody a starter pack at first because once you've kind of digested and learned to hopefully love this stuff, you've got a world of albums awaiting you right at your fingertips. So get started on these. Like I said, I don't know how many people who are, are watching uh, could have never heard these albums. Maybe some of our younger viewers have just said maybe there's some stuff here that they haven't investigated. And if you haven't, you are in for a treat. And that's kind of what these episodes are all about, to expose people who are new, regardless of your age, to a style of music that you've never really explored before, but maybe always wanted to, and uh, offer up some of what I feel are some great first-time uh, albums to dive into. Your starter pack. From here, there's lots of other good stuff. Like I said, there's no real right or wrong answer. Uh, and some of these bands and artists may even have albums that are considered more classic. But as a first step, this is a pretty good list, I think. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we've got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page, and our Cameo page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And we'll see you soon here with more of these. Uh, we've got coming up, we've got... Uh, 
the thrash metal album list for newbies. We're going to go to Doom and Stoner. We're going to do death metal and black metal, power metal, prog metal, jazz fusion, jazz, uh, all sorts of other stuff. We might do a blues rock one as well. So as many genres as we could possibly tackle, we're going to do. We might even go break off and do, like, for prog rock, we did a prog rock one. We might go do, like, prog rock by region, right? So Italy and Germany and things like that. So uh, so stay tuned. Lots coming. IMP Pardo, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye.